Let's look at the LightWave Roadmap 2019. In this short video, I want to show you what you can expect from LightWave Kit LightWave this year. First, Smart Mesh TR. It is a new mesh system for LightWave Kit LightWave and it is finally finished and I want to introduce it to you and show you the benefits you get from this new system. In the second part of this video, I'll show you some key features of uh, next planned updates for this year. Smart Mesh TR. It is a uh, next version of LightWave Kit Smart Mesh standard, which was originally introduced with LightWave Kit 5 and it brought NURPS surfaces into LightWave. This is a next iteration. Uh, which is solving a lot of previous problems and uh, adding a lot of optimizations and new features. Biggest internal change in the Smart Mesh TR is that now we have new geometry types, internal geometry types. Line segments, uh, B-spline segments, NURP segments, these three are the curves, then B-spline surface, NURP surface, uh, rational surface, these are 3D NURP surfaces, then flat surface is the flat surface based on edges of line segments, B-spline segments and NURB segments. And then triangles, quads and polygons. Uh, so all these elements, as a user, you don't have to care about them. It is just internal division and how it works internally. From user side, uh, you have just curves and surfaces. But uh, for internal functions uh, of Live Advocate, this is a huge improvement. It is fully compatible with previous Smart Mesh, but a new version is way much faster. It has enormous speed optimization. It, uh, it is faster 10 to 1000 times, depends on tool and, uh, and object. It suppresses also multi-threading now, and um, it has completely new LightWave to LightWave get mesh input output. So it is reading and writing geometry between, between LightWave and LightWave get way much faster. And finally, it has uh, a NURPS UV mapping also for NURP surfaces. I'll show you only two examples for uh, Smart Mesh TR. First, NURPS UV mapping using Quad UV TR now you can place UV map on NURB surface, which is pretty cool. And you can same apply also on network of NURB surfaces and stretch NURB surface on it. In the second example, I'll show you speed difference between old and new smart mesh. First, using very simple object 96 uh, quad polygons using a uh, new quad UV TR. Two is very quick and there is no lag. Uh, also, previous smart mesh quad UV mapper also works uh, quick on this simple object. But now we switch to much more complicated object with almost half million polygons and when we apply first a new quad uv tr tool after activating there is almost one second lag so you can see it is not as fast as previous simple object but still usable and um, even after i drop this tool there is almost two second delay flushing all the geometry half million polygons uh, now we try previous version, old Smart Mesh tool, activating now, and we are waiting. And it has been almost one minute. So you can see the speed difference of reading and writing uh, geometry between LightWave Kit and LightWave is way much improved. LightWaveKit 2018.5 is free update for users with uh, version 2018. All new tools and updated tools are Smart Mesh TR ready. 
This update is fully focused on NURPS modeling, so it will bring new essential tools for NURPS modeling. On this screen, you can see the list of essential NURPS modeling tools. I will describe just briefly. First, patches. With a patches tool, you have a comprehensive set of tools for creating NURPS surfaces. Patch is for creating 3D patches, flat patch, flat patches. With terrain page, you can generate terrain from input points or mesh. Quads to patch uh, generate patches from quads and uh, with edge tangents to you can uh, soften or uh, sharpen edges between NURPS surfaces. Next group of tools is for adjustment of NURPS detail on low and high level. First reduce tool is for lines, polylines, polygons, flat surfaces. So we are reducing these linear elements. Edge reduce is uh, for reducing amount of contour points per curved part, such as uh, NURPS uh, edges, uh, NURPS curves and uh, NURPS surfaces. With edge divide, we can divide all types of curves and all types of surfaces per edge. And uh, uh, with edge refine, we can do several low level operations such as degree elevate, knot uh, remove. It is particularly to adjust detail of the uh, NURPS element locally. So you can add somewhere more control points on some part uh, or remove on other parts. This is a low level tool. Next group of essential NURPS uh, tools are for connecting disconnecting mesh elements. Join, explode and edge join and explode are four interactive tools which can not just connect and disconnect mesh elements, but they can also merge points, merge edges, unify surfaces and uh, do some additional fixes on mesh. These additional features was hidden in previous command versions. So now you can do and explore all the features of these tools and uh, do it uh, interactively. Next new tool is Quad UVTR for creating UV maps on uh, NURPS surfaces, but also on uh, Quad polygons. And uh, some adjustments are also not related to new mesh TR. Drag tool is updated uh, with several new options. There is a uh, new projection snapping, also division system of NURPS edges and uh, curves uh, is updated. And there are also uh, couple more updates which I am not going to show you now. Uh, this is just brief uh, preview of this version so you can uh, looking forward to it. And uh, for the examples I'll show you only a single tool. And the tool is new patch tool TR version. With new patch tool you can create patches uh, with uh, several methods. For example, very simple, you can extrude, uh, extrude this segment along rail curve or you can extrude a uh, starting segment to end segment with rail curve or you can create a regular patch as previously. So you can select U segment, V segment, all, three, all four segments must be connected of course and create final patch and uh, you can also uh, create lofted surfaces uh, so this this tool now uh, supplement the previous loft tool now it's not it is not necessary to have this as a separate tool so you can loft like say these segments into single uh, single surface or you can loft these segments or you can loft all the segments together into a single patch. So now the final patch is uh, precisely fitting all these connected curves. And finally, uh, after current free update, there will be another free update 2018.6. 
uh, or paid update 2020 it depends on situation which two will be in free update and which uh, which not but you can expect the new rebuild it route offset extrude to uh, into tr version so supporting uh, smart mesh tr with all the benefits and uh, you can expect also new roads and sidewalks uh, too the road two will be back in tr version so you will be able to create roads with just single click and road will be generated from nurps patches with uv mapping and another neat set of tools will be for projections to surfaces so for example you you will create a uh, nurps roads with a couple clicks and then uh, you create nurps terrain again with a couple clicks and then you use these projections tools to project roads into terrain with a single click. There will be also more tools into these updates. And um, the purpose of this video uh, was just to inform you what is going on and what you can expect next. Thank you for watching.